Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own browser in Ticketer. So for making your own browser in Ticketer, first uh, you need to import the Ticketer library itself. So I'm going to type from Ticketer import all. So it's going to import all from Ticketer. And then I'm, uh, I also need to import uh, from my TK HTML view. So from TK uh, HTML view, we will uh, import HTML scroll text. So from uh, TK HTML view import HTML scroll text okay we also need to import requests as far as i know i am the only person doing this and no one else has done this before that's why i thought of making uh, the video on this then uh, from bs4 that's beautiful so for if you haven't installed it install it uh, via pip import beautiful so beautiful so okay I think uh, this is enough, uh, all these libraries will be enough for it. So now, let us um, start coding. So let uh, me give uh, the name as uh, Zahid Browser. So last name is equal to Zahid Browser. You can give your name browser state maximize. Okay, for maximize, we have to type over your zoom. Uh, I'm taking maximize because uh, it will be easier in maximize state. Okay, there won't be problems in a grid. So now we need to define a method. Okay. But uh, before we define that method, we need to create uh, the button grid and all that. Okay, but uh, I'm defining method first. Okay, so let us uh, call this method as frame. So let us uh, take a variable as address. And what we will do is use str function and inside str we will uh, just uh, get uh, from the entry uh, the url of the website so let uh, name entry as url url dot get okay uh, what we need to do is we need to make an entry over here url is equal to entry okay so what we will do is we will put a try block over here okay and we will give a variable name as page is equal to request so it will automatically send a get request and get all the uh, uh, all the data okay so we will uh, put an address over here so it will uh, automatically ping the address and get uh, all uh, the content okay so now let us uh, give um, a variable name as maybe vfs okay and we will use the str function again to convert to string and we will use beautiful so over here in and inside that 
we will pass the page content okay so usually a page is when it is written its status code and all that stuff so we don't want all that okay it's an object but we don't want the entire python object we just want uh, the content of it okay we just want that string and we will put html dot parser okay to pass it into html and then we will use a code okay so what it will do is it will uh, just uh, order in uh, collect address okay and so it will uh, remove all the slash n and all that from uh, uh, the string and it will uh, make it into proper html format okay then in the accept block I will raise the exception as E. Okay. Over here, what I will do is VFS is equal to. I will now write a custom uh, exception code H1, which is heading one. I, I get my browser name Zahid browser over here slash h1 then over here I will give h2 404 error okay. slash h2 this is if uh, the user types in in karake uh, incorrect IP address or incorrect URL okay then h3 check your internet connection Let us uh, give a name as HTML label. Okay, just uh, keep it over here like this one. We'll come it later on. So let us um, in this browser. Uh, we will put the font as uh, Times New Roman. So for that uh, Times. And this is correct, maybe normal. Okay. And we will give the width as 180. And we will set the URL grid. Row is equal to 1 and column equals to one okay now we need to make a button so we will give button name as go and we will give it as button browser okay we will get and we will uh, give this command so the command is frame over here so it will uh, use uh, this method on click of button okay it will call this function then we will pack the button so go dot grid row is equal to one and uh, column will be 2 okay 
So now let us uh, make uh, this HTML label and this uh, is the HTML we will use this component okay so over here I will put which one this color red X align center Hello, welcome to Zahid Browser. And I will close the tag over here. Okay, so this is our message, the default message. Okay, this is the home page. So we have built the home page also of it and now we will uh, give the grid so grid row equals to 2 column equals to 1 and what do we want now here is to it uh, to be on both the columns okay not just column 1 but also take column 2 so we will use column span equals to two. Okay, then we will uh, configure this height. Okay, so we want uh, height uh, to be forty eight. Uh, maybe 40, 40 is correct and uh, with let us give 150 okay browser dot main loop to run the program okay over here now what uh, we have uh, created this okay now we need to change this html tag so for that we will uh, use html label dot set um, html and we will pass this vfs over here okay so what does this uh, tag do is it uh, actually renders the html in uh, a text box okay and it has all buttons links and everything and uh, all images and everything is like in the text box and all the all those things are working okay so this now i think so this is enough just save it and build this okay so this is it now let us uh, try some visiting some of the pages so like https zahid servers dot uh, github dot io slash sam okay so what happened Okay, I didn't uh, give this correctly. HD. So, okay, now. Okay, so it has visited this page. You can see this. 
Okay, let us try another like google.com. www.google.com Okay, you can see this browser. Okay, the problem is that uh, this uh, compiler isn't like the parser, you cannot pass it all the css functions and all it has some limitations to it so it cannot like uh, make a very advanced uh, things it has some limitations okay so yeah there we go you have created your own web browser in tech enter who says it's impossible